Hey guys, a very good morning and welcome to a new daily market outlook. So in today's market outlook, as per usual, I'm going to be discussing the DXY alongside the major dollar pairs and gold. So yeah, without further ado, let's just dive straight in. So to begin with the DXY, what can we currently see? Well, the DXY has made a very beautiful bearish engulfing candle at the 618 fib and also at that area of consolidation which i mentioned yesterday so this area of consolidation is currently acting as resistance so therefore i wouldn't be surprised if we do start seeing even more downside from where we currently are at so if we quickly go to the one hour time frame what you'll see over there is that we do have this potential yes you know, some sort of a head and shoulders pattern a very messy one in my opinion but it is a head and shoulders pattern so we could start dropping from here. However, not really convinced about it would be very beautiful, though. Um, if we quickly go back to the daily time frame, what we can then see is that this potentially and this green bullish candle, which we have currently been forming since um, yeah Asian session, could just be the wick of the potential bearish candle, which we are going to see today. However, what I would preferably see is definitely some sort of price pattern evolve instead of a head and shoulders. So in the sense of, let's say, a beautiful ascending channel from here. So seeing some more upside on the DXY, a pullback, once again, more upside and then a drop. So it might seem very conservative the way that I'm viewing the market um, as of the recent days. However, what we have to understand is that we had three weeks of amazing price action, which we were very easily able to capitalize on. And what we have to understand is that the market moves in cycles. Sometimes the market really does what you want and sometimes you just have to let the market do its own thing and wait for the market to come back into that cycle, um, yeah, which really suits your trading style. So at the moment, I'm not really yeah, a big fan of the current price action that we are seeing in the markets. So yeah, that is um, the DXY for now. So let's head over to Aussie dollar. And Aussie dollar, so I still have this short position on my screen, as you guys can see. So the way I viewed this and I got some messages on Instagram um, and also in the private Slack community about this setup is that we had this beautiful in inverse head and shoulders, excuse me, which I showed you guys yesterday. However, which what I did not show you was that on the right shoulder, we also had the descending channel with the one the two and the third touch was a fake out on the low of the second touch. Therefore, we had channel maturement at the 618. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful setup. Um, the right shoulder was also at the area of support of the left shoulder. And therefore, yeah, just a very, very beautiful setup to take. It was a four, yeah, one to 4.6. So yeah, I got some guys who took the setup, so really happy for them. Um, and I just wanted to yeah, point that setup out maybe for some of you guys who aren't really seeing anything in the market at the moment. So looking at Aussie dollar at the moment, we have been forming some ascending price action in the sense that we had this or have this ascending that kind of wedge slash channel formation. However, at the moment, the main reason for the drop in Aussie dollar is, of course, the DXY making a pullback on the daily. Um, so if the daily on the DXY were to drop further, we will see a bullish Aussie dollar. So at the moment, I'm really just going to be waiting for um, yeah, some more price action. Uh, looking at Aussie dollar at the moment on the one hour as well. It's not really that clear. We could start dropping further from here. However, yeah, not that interesting. Once again, we have some area of basing candles over here, which could act as an inch, as an area of support to potentially take some longs from. Uh, also viewing that it is most likely going to be a 618. Yeah, 786 or a low, yeah, low 618. So we could potentially start looking for some longs from here um, and then adjust the trend, like, like, trend line like this. And this could potentially be the second touch. And then one more push up as, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of these two touches to be very honest. Um, but yeah, this is a possibility. So yeah, that's Aussie dollar. Let's head over to Euro dollar. And Euro dollar is also forming some sort of an inverse head and shoulders. We have the left shoulder, the head 
and the right shoulder. Uh, once again, a very ugly inverse head and shoulders. However, we can view it as one. So Euro dollar found resistance yesterday. Uh, as we can see, we've been dropping since, moving back down in towards the lows, back down towards that 618. Uh, we could potentially go long from around the 0 0.5 as we do have some um, yeah, imbalance candles over here which do look good to see a reaction from. So as you guys can see, we are currently moving bullish from this area of uh, imbalance. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do start pushing higher. However, of course, what we always like to see is some sort of channel or wedge to form. So preferably I would see Euro dollar make one small push up, one small push down before then potentially going long. So yeah, I am still a big fan of, let's say, Euro dollar pullback, Aussie dollar pullback, Kiwi dollar pullback, um, back up in towards the highs after, of course, the overextended move on the higher time frame. So yeah, let's wait and see what happens. Um, yeah, let's just wait and see. So that's Euro dollar, let's head over to pound dollar. And pound dollar, so pound dollar was a very, very nice impulse in towards the highs, as discussed yesterday. Um, I did mention that we had channel maturement over here, so I wouldn't be surprised if we would start seeing more upside on pound dollar. However, sadly, we didn't really make any retest to then go long. Um, so I personally didn't take it. I know some guys did take it after I mentioned that we had channel maturement. A little bit of an aggressive setup in my opinion, but still a very nice setup. So congrats if you did take it. Um, so at the moment, pound dollar has found resistance over here. Uh, currently just making a pullback wouldn't be surprised if we do start seeing some longs um, yeah, from, let's say, the 618 or even the 0 0.382 as we do have some demand situated over there because this demand zone took out this high and therefore we could um, yeah, view this as demand from where we can potentially take some longs. However, as you guys know, I do love to see some price patterns and the way that price is forming yeah, isn't yet that interesting, I have to say, but it would be nice if we do form something like this. So some sort of a descending channel in towards that 0 0.382 fib like this to then potentially take along back up. So yep, yeah, that's pound dollar. So let's head over to Kiwi dollar. And Kiwi dollar played out very nicely. As we can see, we impulsed back up in towards the highs from demand and after channel maturement. So remember we had the one, the two, and essentially yeah, the three, four, um, but you could also just view this as the fourth touch over here, uh, as the third touch, excuse me, and just skipping this wick over here. So one, two, three, boom, channel maturement. Um, I think I mentioned a potential sell that you could take last week. I think it was that I said you could take the channel breakout over there. Um, but of course, you could have also taken the channel breakout over here after yeah, tapping into demand and breaking out and getting multiple closes um, after breaking out of the wedge. Quickly diving into the lower time frame where you'll then also see, and this looks a little bit similar to how you could have taken Aussie dollar. However, we don't have the inverse head and shoulders over here. But what we do have, of course, is this beautiful fib over here. Just missed the 618, but what we did get were some nice double bottoms down below. So you could have taken a potential long out of um, 0 0.5 fib and also out of demand after breaking out of the overall descending wedge, right? Because the overall descending wedge had matured and therefore you could have taken shorts on the break retest of the upper descending trend line. So yep, that was a potential setup on Kiwi Dollar for you guys. So what am I expecting from Kiwi Dollar? Well, definitely a push further back up in towards the highs, of course. Um, but yeah, once again, we're just very heavily dependent on what the DXY will form. So this week, mainly just going to be waiting, um, yeah, waiting for the DXY to form a more logical pattern before taking any real setups on the DXY pairs. So yeah, that's Kiwi Dollar. Let's head over to um, Gold. And gold has been playing out pretty nicely. As we can see, um, I still have the upper descending trend line drawn on. So let's just adjust it like this. And what we can now see is that we have the one, the two, the one, the two. So it would be very nice to see gold drop back down in towards the lows to make that maturement before then potentially going back up again. If we just mark out the swing low over here, 
at 1761.040 would be very nice to either see a fake out on that low or a third trendline touch before then yeah taking any longs back up in towards the highs um, just quickly viewing the weekly once again this of course could just be a weekly uh, wick before heading down lower as we do have an area of demand situated down here from 1729 till 1677 so there is still a possibility of us coming lower however i do really like the location that we're currently at also since it um, is in accordance with the 618 fib and we are forming a nice price pattern on the one hour as of now however of course we could just tank never really make any rejection signs at that um, fake out on the swing low or the third trend line touch we could just yeah, really start dumping in towards 1729 so that will be my other region of interest to potentially take some longs from uh, which will also be the break retest of the descending trend line and then we could potentially start going long from the 786 fib at 1729 so yeah guys that is all for today thank you so much for watching if you have any questions uh, yeah, just please ask me anything that you want on either Discord or Instagram. The links are in the uh, description below. So yeah, once again, thank you for, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you all in tomorrow's outlook. Thanks, guys.